Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Oh, bless your holy name. Bless your holy name, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you this morning. We thank you this morning, oh God. You are worthy. You are greatly to be praised, God. Yes, Lord. Rabba Sotobo City. You are greatly to be praised. Hey, praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Blessings, blessings, everybody. Amen, amen. I am excited this morning. Hallelujah. How's everybody doing this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, before we um, before we begin, um, I need someone to help me with this sound check. How's my audio in the background? How's the music? Is it too loud? Hallelujah. Oh, nana bandele beko, ikatolobo si alabahaya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Najaya, God bless you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen, we're not going to prolong anything. Thank you so much for the sound check, y'all. I really appreciate that. Uh, my wife, uh, Prophet Monique, she's going to pray. And we're going to begin. I'm excited. I am excited, y'all. All right. Hallelujah. All right, woman of God, let the Lord use you. Hallelujah, oh God. Father God, we come to you on today, oh God, to say thank you, oh Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for waking us up, oh God. Yes. Thank you for breathing the breath of life, oh God, into yes, these Lord. bodies once again, oh Father God. Amen. We thank you, oh God, for giving us another chance, oh Father God, to get right back with you, oh Father God, for giving us another chance, oh Father God, to choose you, oh Father God, for giving us another chance, oh God, to say Say yes to you, oh Father God. Yes to your will, oh God. Yes to your way, oh God. Yes to your word, oh Father God. We thank you, oh God, for your mercy, oh Father God. Day after day, oh Father God, we thank you, oh Lord for keeping us as we slept, oh, Father God, for keeping the hands of the enemy, oh, Father God, away from us, oh, Father God, away from our homes, oh, Father God. We thank you, oh, God, for your hedge of protection, oh, Father God. We thank you, oh, God, for your warring angels, oh, God. We thank you, oh, Father God, for your guardian angels, oh, God. We thank you, oh, Lord. 
Oh, Father God, we come to you on today, oh, Father God, to hear your word, oh, Father God, to hear your heart, oh, Father God. Let us be receptive, oh, Father God, to your spirit, oh, Father God. Let us be receptive, oh, Father God, to your word, oh, Father God, and let it fall on good ground on today, oh, Father God. And I come against every distraction, oh, God, yes, every Lord. distraction that has yeah, been Mara set Masu. forth, oh, Father God, yeah. again. Against your people on today, oh Father God. Yes, Every thought, oh God. Yes. Every worry, oh Father God. Thank All you. anxiety, Rabba oh Father so. God. Feelings of guilt, oh God. Yes, and shame, oh Jesus. Father God. We come against it right now in the, in the name, name of, of your Son, Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. oh God. Let us come to you, oh Father God ready oh father god yes, like lord. children oh father god let us sit before your My feet god. on this morning yes, oh father god lord. let us love on you oh father yes, god lord. on today oh so god cool. for you are worthy oh are father worthy, god Jesus. you are awesome oh father yes, god lord. you are great oh father god you are, you god. are sovereign oh father god, god. hallelujah oh god yes lord thank you hallelujah oh father god Hallelujah, yes, oh God. Yes, Hallelujah, oh God. My Jesus. Be in the midst, oh Father God, of your people of on today. Wherever we are, oh God, at work, at home, oh Father God. Help wherever us, God. we are, oh God, Help in the us, parking God. lot, oh Father God. Wherever we are, oh God, be in the midst, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, oh God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, oh Father God. We thank you, oh Father God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. You are worthy, oh God. You are worthy of our obedience, oh God. You are worthy of our time. Time, oh yes, God, Lord. hallelujah, yes, Lord. God. Have your way on today, oh God. Jesus, Prick Jesus. our hearts on today, yes, oh God. Let us hear, oh God, what you are saying to your people, oh Father God. Jesus. Let us hear, oh God, your heart, oh God. Hallelujah. Open our ears, oh Father God. Yes, Open our ears, oh Father God. My Jesus. My Jesus. Hallelujah, oh Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on and bless the Lord right here. Come on and bless our God. Come on, let's honor our God with the fruit of our lips. Yes, Lord, with the fruit of our lips. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless the Lord right here. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we travail in your presence. Yes, God. We travail in your presence, oh God. We press in, we press in, we press in, oh God. We exalt you, oh God. We thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for blessing us, God. With you, oh God, thank you for new mercies unto day, God. We thank you today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah God. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you through Jesus Christ. We have peace with you. Thank you for your loving kindness, God. Hallelujah. Lord, we exalt you, O God, in our hearts. We exalt you, O God, in our midst, O God. Hallelujah. As we join together, God, we thank you that you are here. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. Yes, God. We bless your name, God. We thank you this morning, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning, oh God. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. We thank you this morning, oh God. Yes. Oh, yes and amen. We thank you. We thank you today. 
We bless your name today, God. We thank you today, God. Come on, you got some more. Come on and give it to him. Oh, he's worthy. Hasn't he kept you? Hasn't he kept you? Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hasn't he kept you? Hasn't he been good to you? Come on, tell him thank you. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you. We honor your name, God. We honor you, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, we thank you. Glory to your name. Oh, glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Rabba sitilebeki alaba sotoya. Glory to your name, God. Lord, we exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you. Come on, I feel glory. Come on. Come on, get what you need right here. I feel his presence. Hallelujah. The Lord is in this place. I feel his presence. Rabandi alaba sotobokotalaba saya. I feel his presence. You are worthy. You are worthy from the rising of the sun to the going down in the same my god you are worthy to be praised you are worthy you are worthy to be praised hallelujah hallelujah you are worthy to be praised god hallelujah we humble ourselves god and we acknowledge we acknowledge you father you are our god we acknowledge your presence right now we thank you for being in the midst of us we thank you for another chance, God, to get it right. We thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, to pursue your face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. Hey, do me a favor. I want you to share this. Share this on your on your Facebook. Hallelujah. Let's get this out. Amen. Let's get this out in Jesus' name. I want you to like and share. Hallelujah. Oh, you are worthy, Jesus. Anybody excited for the word of the Lord today? Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Man kolobo setelebeke. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning. Amen. Amen. What's going on, bro? God bless you, man. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, uh, grab your Bibles. Let's go into the word of the Lord. We are in the book of Jeremiah, the second chapter. I'm not going to be before you long. I want to just release what the Lord has given me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. All right, so we are in Jeremiah, the second chapter. We're going to start at verse 5. Okay? We're going to start at verse 5. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout out to uh, YouTube. Amen. Those on YouTube, God bless you. Amen. Facebook, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, and it reads. Well, this this right here. Yeah, thank you. And we'll just delete that. So, get confused. so when the Lord appeared and ministered to Jeremiah, the Lord spoke concerning his people. The Lord introduced himself to Jeremiah and he revealed who Jeremiah was and he made himself known to him. And he spoke to him and told him his identity. This is when he told him that you are a prophet and I have called you and I have given you direction, so on and so on. Now, the Lord sent Jeremiah on assignment to minister to 
his people, the people of God were in a hard place, in a difficult place at this time. The people were at a state, in a state of rebellion. And when you are in a state of rebellion, when you are in a state of just doing you, amen, you are not even uh, mindful of the things of God. And the people of Israel at this time, they were not mindful of the God that they serve. They were not mindful of the God that brought them out out of, out of bondage. They were just living their lives. They were just doing whatever it is they wanted to do. I'm here to declare that you belong to God. No matter where you have been, no matter what you have been through, understand no matter your skin complexion, God created you. And God created you for purpose. God created you for his glory. And the Lord wants to use you. The Lord wants to make himself known to you. The Lord wants to show you exactly who you are. A lot of us are, are clueless to who we are. But I'm here to tell you, if you pursue God, if you seek after his kingdom, he will make himself known to you. And he will show you who you are. So the title of this sermon is Turn Back to God. Simply turn back to God. You see, the father looks, looks down low. He, he sits high and he looks down low and he's searching for the, for the hearts of his people that would be willing to turn from him, turn to him and turn from this world. God is calling us to come out of agreement with a lot of things amen just because it's legal in the world it doesn't mean that it it is right with god god is looking for a people that is that would be mindful of him that would be mindful of his statures that would be mindful of his word god is looking for a people that doesn't mind my god turning from their own desires god is searching for a people that will love him in season and out of season god is looking for a people that will love him even if it is not popular come on somebody god is looking for a people that will be willing to give up everything to walk with him and i've learned that amen we come against the things of god because it's not popular just because the crowd is not pursuing your God. We tend to, amen, uh, forget who we are and who we belong to. We tend to turn to the things that, that is popular. We tend to turn to the things of the world. But I'm here to, to say to you today, this morning, that if you're going to walk with God, you have to sacrifice. If you are going to walk with God, there are things that you have to let go. So here we are in Jeremiah, the second chapter, verses five through eight. The Lord speaks through Jeremiah to his people. And I want us to focus on the language of God, the heart of God. Notice how God speaks concerning his children. I want you to search to even search right now as I read, search the compassion in the message that God has towards his people because God loves us no matter what you have done no matter what you have going on your father loves you and he wants you to live for him he wants you to say yes to him hallelujah and it reads thus says of the Lord what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain. Neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt? Where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt? You see, what we do, I'm going to deviate just, just, just for a moment. What we do, we asked God. God, bring me out of this. God, God, bring me out of that. And after the Lord brings us out, we forget about our hero. 
We forget about the one that brings us out. We forget about the one that rescued us out of the situation. We forget about our provider. We forget about our weight maker. We forget about our God. Once the situation has lifted, once the pressure has lifted, we tend to turn from God. We forget about the God that was with us through the struggle. We forget about the God that was with us through the turbulence, through the opposition. We forget about the one that was there for us When everyone, yes God, has turned their backs on us God was right there When everyone spoke against us When everyone spoke against us God spoke life into us God said you can do it God said I love you still God said I will cover you God said I still I'm still on your side I have not forsaken you God is the one that is always there You see man is fickle Man would turn their backs on us But our God The one who sits high and looks down low He is always faithful No matter how much dirt we throw towards him No matter how much we turn our back on him He still is faithful but God is asking the children of Israel, like, what, what, what have I, what, ha, what have your, have your fathers found in me that will justify them turning their backs on me? I'm here to declare to you that there is nothing worth turning your back on God. It doesn't matter how heavy it is, how, 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 how well packaged, how well packaged it is. Nothing is worth turning from God I've learned from falling time after time when everyone turned their backs on me when there was no one there in my corner God was right there when I felt so low about myself when I felt like nothing when I was suicidal when I tried to find ways to kill myself no one no no one was in my corner but God no one was there to uplift me but God when I felt like nothing, there was no one there but God. And somehow we look to God as if he is not worthy. We look to God as if he is not faithful. Listen, the devil is a liar. God is faithful. He is the true definition of faithfulness. He is the true definition of faithful. No matter what you have, when, no matter what you have going on, God is right there. He always speaks well of us. Even after sinning against God, God speaks well of us. With his love and kindness, he draws us. With his mercies, he draws us. You see, God doesn't force us to live for him. It's the love. I'm crazy about God Not because he put a gun to my head Not because I'm I'm, 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 I'm deceived by, by religion I'm crazy about God Because the love that he has shed abroad on me When I felt like nothing When I wanted to kill myself It was the love of God That has brought me from a dark place It was the love of God That hooked me That put a hook in my mouth it was the love of God Now God is asking the, the, the people of Israel What have your ancestors found in me? Why is it that These people Have forsaken me? I brought them out of bondage I heard their cry They cried in the book of Exodus The cry my God It reached the, the, the ears of the Lord And God said I gotta I gotta see about my people I gotta visit them I have to bring them out I hear their cry I cannot turn my back from them They need me it was moments when I felt like giving up God heard my cry and he brought me out When I picked up the phone I went through my contacts It was no one there to rescue me It was no one there God will remove you The people that you lean on the most So you can see that they can't bring you out No, not, not like God 
I went through my contacts. It was no one there to help me but God. God has a way of moving people out of the way. The people that you depend on the too much, the most, God would turn their hearts. He will remove them so they can rescue you. I was in that place of being low. I was in that place where I, where I had to look up. And I seen God. You may be in a low place. You, you may not understand how you're going to make it out. Perhaps, just perhaps, perhaps God designed it this way to get your attention. I had to lose things for my eyes to open. I lost a car. I lost a job. I lost a so-called friends. And God got my attention. I began to realize these, these tangible things it means nothing these earthly things it means nothing lord i'm i'm now concerned about my soul if i close my eyes lord where am i going you see the enemy would deceive you he wants you to chase the job chase the nine to five chase the bag chase the friends people places and things and not even be concerned about your soul It says that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But somebody says, but. But when ye answered, ye defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. Why is it that when we receive the blessings of God, one, we turn from God and we don't use what we have received from God as God has intended. When we get the job, we forget about God. When we get the car, we forget about God. When, when we get these things that, 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 that we ask for, even we don't deserve it, even though we don't deserve it, we begin to defile what God has given us. We use the car to commit sin. We use the nine to five to splurge on our sinful desires. We ask God for different things, but we use what God has given us and we defile it before God. We said, God, if, if, if you would do this for me, I would serve you all the days of my life. Come on now, right? But when we receive these things, we don't really cherish God. We don't really honor God in what we, we have. So they defiled the very land that God has brought them into. It says, and they that handled the law knew me not. And the pastors also transgressed against me. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walk after the things that do not profit. So even those that, that amen, were in position to be a mouthpiece to God, the very people that were in position to lead God's people, even they at this time, they forgot, they, they forgot about God. No one said, where is God? We get so busy with what we have. We get so busy with the things of the world and we don't even ask ourselves, yo, where is God? When is the last time I prayed? When is the last time I saw his face? When is the last time I fasted? When is the last time I prayed before God and I didn't ask for tangible things? When is the last time I just prayed to God and just to love on him? When is the last time I cried out to God, not because I need anything, but just because he's God? When is the last time have I loved on God? We get so caught up. God, I need you. I need you. Our relationship with God is so dysfunctional. It's all about I, 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 I. We pray. Okay, God, thank you and amen. But God is saying, wait a minute, come back. I got things I want to say to you. I want to pour my heart. 
I want to release my heart to you. I want to reveal my mind to you. Saints of God, it is time to turn back. It is the perfect time. It is the perfect hour to turn back to God and to seek his kingdom. Where is God? Where is God? What is God saying about your life? Where is God? I don't know how you would word the question in your life, but where is God in your life? What is the last thing that God has said to you? We just ask for material things. Understand that these things that we see with our eyes, they are temporal. But the things that we don't see, it's eternal. The job will pass away. The cars will pass away. Everything else will pass away. But the things that we don't see, it's eternal. Set your mind on the things above where your heart is. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. We set our minds on the things that perish. But I'm here to tell you, you can gain the world, but lose your soul. Help me, God. You can gain the whole world, but lose your soul. And that's what the enemy wants. He wants you to be so busy. He wants you to be so busy to, to the point where you don't have time to pray. You don't have time to read your word. You don't have time to see God's face. You don't have time to be in your prayer closet. He wants you to be so busy and that and, and to, to the point where you don't have time for God. But God is looking and searching for a people that doesn't mind sacrificing. God has sacrificed so much for you. God has given himself. God has put himself, hallelujah, on the table for you. He has depleted himself for you. He has given all that he can give for us. God is searching. God is looking for a people that is willing to turn, to turn from their ways. Where is God? Where is God in my life? God, what are you saying to me? We can live this life and gain the whole world and not obtain God. We can live this life and gain the nine to five, get, have the children, get married, get all these wonderful things, right? But not have God. We can be so religious and just have a form of godliness. Just go to church and not have God. God is looking for intimacy. God wants intimacy. God wants our whole hearts. God wants intimacy with you. He wants relationship with you. God doesn't like religion because, re because religion, it puts a cap on God. Religion goes against God. Religion fights against God. Religion would keep you away from God. But relationship, relationship goes far beyond anything else. Re relationship will cause you to get right back up after you have fallen. Relationship with God would help you say no, even though you want to say yes. Relationship would have you forsake everything Just to walk with him Relationship would give you boldness To stand for righteousness Because I love him Hallelujah I don't want to sin against him Because I love him I cry for his mercies And his help to help me Stay away from the things that are not like him Because I love him I am willing to go the extra mile because I love him, I don't want to offend him. Because I love him, I want to understand his language. There's a language of God that we have to come into the knowledge of. We got to understand his love language. Religion will keep you away from his love language. Where is God? Ask yourself, where is God? Where is God? What is God saying about you? 
Religion would tell you that you can only hear from God through your pastor. Religion would tell you that because you dress how you dress, because you look how you look, you can't have a relationship with God. Religion would keep you away from your maker. I pray this is helping somebody. Religion. Religion would keep you. Amen. Religion would keep you away from God. It doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter what you have done. Relationship will connect you with your father. We see Saul. He was converted and his name turned to Paul. He was a murderer. He fought against the Christians. He fought against the very church. He was converted and he now began to walk into relationship and his name was changed because of relationship. He turned from the, from the path that he walked before he turned from what he knew to walk with God. That's relationship. You can turn from your mess because of relationship with Jesus Christ. You can turn, you see, religion would keep you bound. Religion will keep you bound Religion will say It is too much To walk with God I can't do it It's too much But relationship It will cause the things That are not of God To begin to shed away To come off of you Because of the love of God Because of the love Of the Father Relationship would help you hallelujah amen verse 8 says the priest said not where is the lord and they that handled the law knew not the pastors also transgressed against me and the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after the, the things that do not profit you know, we get so comfortable with God. We get so, so, so laxed because we know that we can be forgiven. We plan our sins out. We consciously sin against God. We don't consider how it breaks the heart of God. We believers, we Christians, called by his name we crucify our lord afresh we just go head first into the mess we don't even consider the sacrifice that was made on calvary we don't even consider the things that break the heart of god god continuously pours out his heart towards us he continuously He's knocking on our hearts to turn to him. But we reject him. God can help you with your addiction. God can help you with your strongholds. But you have to seek relationship. You have to seek relationship. Because religion would tell you, I'm not done yet. I'm not done having fun, so I'm going to stay away. That's religion. I'm not done playing games. I'm not done turning up. So I'm going to stay away. But relationship would say, Lord, I'm in, a, I'm, I'm in a difficult place. Lord, I can't turn from my own mess. I can't stay away from the things that break your heart. Now, Lord, I need you to help me. I need you to, I, I need you to deliver me. That's relationship. Paul said, there's no good thing that dwells in the flesh. There's no good thing that dwells in the flesh. Now, relationship would, would cause you to submit to the spirit of God. And he would mortify the deeds of your body. He will bring your flesh under subjection by his Holy Spirit. That's relationship. 
But religion will say to you once again, because I'm not done yet, I'm going to keep away from God. Now, what if, just what if, what if you don't get a chance to get right with God? What if you don't get a chance to repent? What if you die in your sins? See, religion would keep you far away from God. God is the only one that can deliver you. God is the only one that can break the addictions. So why stay away? Paul cried out to God. He had a thorn in his flesh. He cried out to God. God said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. I don't know what your thorn is. I don't know about that thing that you're, that, that you're struggling with. The thing that you're wrestling with. But the strength of God is enough. The strength of God would help you overcome. The strength of God would help you overcome. Hallelujah. First John 2, 15 and 16 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. God is looking for us, his children, to come out of agreement with tradition, with the world. You see, the world will cause us to come into the things that are not like him. God wants us to come out of agreement with these things. He said, come from among them and be ye separate. Then I will receive you. Touch not the unclean thing. You see, relationship would help you come out of agreement with a lot of things relationship would help you come out of agreement with the world you see the world is okay with you being double-minded the world loves you to be lukewarm the world wants you to have a form of godliness the world would tell you oh god understands oh god will forgive you keep on doing what you're doing shall we sin that grace may abound. God forbid. I'm here to declare God is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. God is looking for holiness. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Yes, oh God. So how is it that the world says you can, you can still sin against God and still have God? But God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. Once saved is not always saved. If we die in our sins, we will have to pay the top wage for our sins. We shall be held responsible for our mess. But the Bible says, if you sin, you have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He can forgive us for our sins and all unrighteousness. But all God wants is submission. Submit to God with your mass. The Bible declares, come boldly, come boldly before the throne of grace. You can find grace before God. You can find help in his presence. God is looking for submission. I'm telling you, God will deliver you. The Bible says that he receives us. He gives us power to be, to be the sons of God through Jesus Christ. He will receive you with your mess. Religion says stay away. The world would tell you stay away. You ain't done turning up yet. You ain't done. But what if you die in your sins? We say that I will get right with God tomorrow. You may not make it to see tomorrow. Today is the salvation of the Lord. You may not see tomorrow. So many people, they woke up in hell. They thought they had tomorrow to get it right. Church, get right with God. Church, turn back to God and let God bring you out. Let God deliver you. He is faithful. 
he would deliver you. You know what I love about God? No matter what you got in your jackets, no matter what you have done, he will not throw it in your face. Oh, Jesus, he won't throw it in your face. He won't throw your past at you. He won't make you feel bad about what you have done. He will throw it into the sea of forgetfulness. It's like it never happened. Hallelujah. It's like it never happened. You may be a fornicator, an adulteress, an adulterer, an idol worshiper. Whatever you are, your sins can be forgiven. And he won't throw it in your face. You won't be labeled as your sin. You won't be labeled as your struggle. By the power of his spirit. He will bring you out. He would change your garment. Many of you are in need of a wardrobe change. God wants to change your garment. He wants to change your garment because people see you as your mistake. Hallelujah. People see you as your struggle. People see you as a drunkard. People see you as an adulterer. But God, but God, but God. The woman with the issue of blood, when he looked at her, he didn't look at her with, with, with pity. He didn't look at her like a mistake. Listen to me. You are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. But when he looked at her, he looked at her with love. She was healed because she touched the hem of his garment. She was hailed because she pursued him. And you have to pursue God. No matter if the religious folks is in front of you. No matter if the crowd is in front of you. You have to pursue your God. Whatever it takes, pursue your God. Because he's the only one that can deliver you. He's the only one that can make your situation better. He's the only one. That can make your condition better. The Bible says how she went to many physicians. And they made her matter worse. They made her condition worse. When you turn to the wrong source. When you go to the wrong one. Your condition will be worse. And we're going to people. Places and things. And our condition is made worse. Our matter is made worse. Our addiction increases. We think that they can help us, but they can't. Oh, God. God wants us to turn to him. Instead of putting a band-aid on an open wound, it needs to be healed. God is the one that can heal your wound. God is the one that can fix it. Hallelujah. God wants to remove the fragments. That's why the spirit of God is saying this morning, turn back to me. Understand that God loves you God wants you to turn back to him And not with religion Don't be religious Don't be religious God wants you to seek his heart God wants you to seek him In spirit and in truth Hallelujah Jeremiah 2 9 through 13 It says wherefore I will yet plead with you Says of the Lord And with your children's children Will I plead For pass over this Isles of Shittim And see And send unto Kedar And consider diligently Listen and see if there be such a thing Have a nation changed their gods Has a nation changed their gods Anything that takes all your time can be a god to you It can be an idol It can be an idol It can be a marriage, a spouse, a job, anything It can be a form of a god, an idol to you God is a jealous God God wants our whole heart 
And it says, which they are, yet no gods. Wait, let me go back. Yet have a nation changed their gods, which are, yet no gods. But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, says of the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out citerns, broken citerns that cannot hold no water. It breaks the heart of God when we, God's people, God's creation, forsakes him. God has invested in you. He has declared an assignment over your life. He has made you with purpose. And it breaks his heart when we, his people, forsake him. When we, his people, turn our back on him. Why have we forsaken God? What evil has God done to us? What error have we found with God? Why have we turned from the living God? Turn back to God. Turn back to God. What accusation can you live towards God that would justify you turning your back from him? What evil has God done to you that you don't consider his heart, that you don't consider his ways, that you don't consider his word, that you don't pursue after him, that you don't seek to have a relationship with him? What evil has he done? God has been nothing but good to us. He has been nothing but faithful. We don't deserve what we have. But he still blesses us Because of his mercies We are not consumed Because of his mercies We are not consumed We deserve the punishment Our hands are unclean We deserve judgment We deserve hell But his mercies Endure forever his goodness The Bible says we wake up to new mercies Every single day We don't deserve it We don't deserve it But he's still faithful Look before you Is there anything That comes close to our God Is there anything that comes close To our God Nothing can compare to our God. But yet we put things before him. Yet we allow things to take all of our time. And we give God seconds. Not even close to our best. God wants more. God wants our time. God deserves our time. God deserves our time. God deserves our whole heart. Romans 5 and 8 declares, but God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us God made provision for us We can see the love of God In his word While we were yet sinners While we were a people Hallelujah That had no desire for God God made a way for us To have relationship with him You see God will God will never force himself on you He's big and mighty He's strong All of that good stuff Right but he won't force relationship with you. Now, he will throw his love at you all day. 
but he won't force he won't forcefully cause you to live for him he gives us free will while we were yet sinners Christ died for us no one is good but one that is God Mark 10 and 18 hallelujah the Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are all over his works Psalms 145 and 9 I want to talk about the mercies of God I want to point out the mercies of God the mercies of God would bring you out I remember being being in a low place in a place of struggle and the mercies of God helped me out it helped me through I deserved the wrath of God but yet he showed me mercy this is why we have to turn to God and stay with God this is why we have to turn back to God hallelujah second Peter if you can turn there second Peter the third chapter verses eight through ten second Peter three eight through ten it says but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us word not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance you see we think we're so slick we think because we don't re we don't receive or see the judgment of god that we're getting away with our mess we think because a man may not understand what we do in secret we think we're getting away with it we think that god doesn't see our mess we think that god is not aware of our stuff but but the fact of the matter is god is long sovereign long long suffering god is merciful he's given us time to get right he's given us time to repent because he doesn't want anyone to perish no matter what you have on your jacket god is giving you time to turn from your mess God has given you time to turn from your sins. God has given us time to turn back to him. God has given us time to say, yes, Lord, I surrender. Lord, I, I truly surrender. It's not that you're slick. You're not getting away with it. God just loves you. God is showing mercy towards you. This is why we have to turn back to God. The mercies of God. You don't know that you can drop dead in your sins. You can drop dead in your sins, but because of the mercies of God, you're still breathing. We make promises to God. God, I won't do it again. God, I'm done. God, I'm finished. We go right back to the mess after God unforgiven us after God and brought us out of dead relationships come on somebody abusive relationships we go right back to the mess we know that they're not our spouse we know that this is not the person that God wants us to be with but we go right back because of the soul ties huh because of the pleasure come on somebody God is saying I, I just brought you back I just brought you out. I made a way of escape for you. Why would you go back? Turn. Turn. 
Turn back to me, says the Lord. Turn your heart towards me, says the Lord. God is calling us to come to him, to come out of agreement with the world. The world has nothing for you. Satan has nothing for you but destruction. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to wreck your life. It feels good to the flesh, but it's destructive. The wages of sin is death. It's death. Death feels good. Death feels good. I remember my days of struggle, my days of fornicating. I remember my days of pleasure. It felt so good. How can something so good be so evil? But it's deceptive. The enemy will mess with your mind. You will be in a state of thinking that what you're doing is okay because you don't feel no conviction. It's scary to sin against God and feel no conviction. It's scary to break the heart of God and not even know how God feels. What is God saying about your life? What is God saying about your lifestyle? Yo, it's scary. It's scary to feel no conviction and be in sin. It's scary to live a double life and not feel bad and not feel conviction. It's scary to ignore the conviction of God. It's scary to know to do good but choose to do evil. It's scary to hear the word and not be a doer of the word. It's scary to know God all your life. You have tasted that the Lord is good, but you choose the world instead. It's scary to gain the whole world, but be on the path to lose your soul. It's scary. It's scary to turn from God and accept the enemy's goods. It's scary because we don't know the time nor the hour. It's scary not to be sure where you would spend eternity. This is the, the, the my God, help me. This is, this is rehearsal. This is rehearsal. What we do in this world determines where we go. This is the dress rehearsal. Where are you going? Where are you going? It's scary to have the mindset, I'm human. God understands. That's a scary mindset. It's scary to justify your sin. God is holy. He is holy. He said, be holy for I am holy. It's scary to stand before a holy God and attempt to justify your sins. It's scary to not even know the heart of God. It's scary to know God through religion. It's scary to only know God through a man and not have relationship because that man could lead you astray. That man could lead you astray. It's scary not to know God for yourself. Hallelujah. Rabba soto lo boko. Ramante ke si alabakaya. Leki marakato lo bosebe. Ramanti karabasata la bahaya. Jesus. Robo bo soto ko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Talaba Soto, Araba Siteke, Haraba Saya. Harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. You hear God in this. You hear God in this. Never mind me. I'm just a vessel. This word applies to me as well. Hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. God is giving us time. God is giving us an opportunity to say yes again. God is giving us a chance. You may not make it to see tomorrow. I know it sounds like a cliche, but you may not make it to see tomorrow. Your eyes may not open. Where would you go? Where would you spend eternity? If you are not right with God, it doesn't matter what you have done in his name. It doesn't matter your title. It doesn't matter that you're a prophet. It doesn't matter how many sermons you you preached, how many folks you prayed for, how many folks you laid hands on. If you are not right with God, how can we make it in? How can we make it in? I'm closing, y'all. Revelations. The third chapter, 20th verse. It says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door. I will come in to him and I will sup with him. And he with me. I'm not giving you religion. I'm giving you the heart of the father. God is searching. God is calling us, his children, to turn to him. God is looking for us to turn back towards him. What sense is it to gain the whole world? To gain the whole world. But lose our soul. We, we, we have the job We have the money We have possessions But are you right with God I'm not talking about religion Because with, with religion You can have a mask on And appear right with man I'm not talking about that You can be in and, in and out of the church In your mess And no one would detect your struggle No one would detect your mess And you can be justified what I'm talking about is relationship. What is God saying about your life? Is God pleased with you? Is God pleased with how you treat folks? Is God pleased with what's in your heart? You see, the heart is evil. The heart is wicked. Is God pleased? Is God pleased? God wants our whole hearts. God is knocking on our heart this morning. And the father is saying, turn back to me. God is talking to the church. Oh, ye that slumber, awaken, awaken. Hear what the father is saying to you. Awaken. It's time to wake up. Because we don't know When the sky will crack open We don't know His return We don't know When we would check out of here God is saying Awaken Put down your religion Put down your religion Because God truly sees The condition of our hearts God truly sees What's in our hearts God sees The unforgiveness God sees the wickedness 
God says, turn, 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 turn. Turn from your mess. Turn from your mess. Rabante. Robosarabasialabakaya. Turn from your mess. And turn back to me, says the Lord. That is the word of God today. Turn back to God. Turn back to God. No more religion. No more religion. Your works won't get you into heaven. No. Your works uh, won't cut it with God. Not this holy God. Not this holy God. But you got to live right with God. But you got to submit to God. You have to be a doer of his word. No religion. Your sermons. say Your sermons won't cause you to make it into heaven. Your money that you give will cause you to make it into heaven. But you got to be right with God. You have to be right with God. Your works won't matter. Your works won't matter with God. You see, God wants relationship. Relationship would keep you in a right place with God. And even if you sin, relationship will pick you right back up god i can't stay here because i know i'm breaking your hearts i can't stay here because i'm sinning against you i can feel my my god as a as a result of my action you are grieved because a relationship i can't stay there but religion religion will have you up and down in sin and keep on preaching Religion will have you preaching and doing the works of the Lord and feel no conviction. Hallelujah. Religion will have you working in the name of the Lord and go right into sin. That's religion. That's religion. But relationship. But relationship. But relationship. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry for messing up, God. Now help me, Lord. I identify that I can't make it out without you. I identify that I have these struggles and I need your assistance. Relationship will cause you to pray like this. Relationship will get you, hallelujah, out of your mess. Relationship will put fire under you. I can't stay here. Relationship will cause you not to pick up that phone call. Relationship will cause you not to send that text. That's relationship with God. But religion will say, oh, God understands. God will forgive me. And yes, he will. He will. Right. But but shall we sin? But shall we sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Now, I don't know. I don't know where you are with God. I don't I don't I don't know the state of your walk with God. But the Lord told me to preach this word. And he gave me the title. And the title is, once again, turn back to God. Simple and plain. Turn back to God. Turn back to God. He that have an ear, receive what the Lord says today. Turn back to me. My sons and my daughters, turn back to me. Harden not your hearts. God says, turn. Turn back. Turn back to me. Turn back to me. And let me heal your backsliding. 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 Let me heal your struggle, says the Lord. The Lord says, turn back to me. Because who can deliver you but God? Who can deliver you but God? Don't be deceived. The enemy wants you to stay far away from God until you give things up. You would never give it up. It feels too good. Sin feels wonderful. You will never give it up by yourself. But I'm speaking from experience. God would help you. God would help you. God would change your heart towards these things. 
God would change your heart. Towards the things that break his heart. God would help you. Hallelujah. So I say to you, turn back to God. Turn back and allow God and allow his spirit to overtake you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray. Come on, right there where you are, you know exactly what struggles you have. You know the condition of your heart. I want you to take a moment with your father right here, right now, and just begin to call on his name. Because if we, if, if we call on his name, we, we won't be ashamed. I, I, I want you to call on him. I want you to call on his name. I want you to call on him. When the last time you have released before God? I'm not talking about asking for material things. I'm not, ask, I'm not talking about asking for blessings. But I mean just to, just to make sure that you'll walk with God. It's sure. Because your pastor... Can't can't can dictate whether or not you make it into heaven. Your service in the church won't dictate your salvation. It won't dictate your place after you close your eyes. But your standings with God will. Your relationship with God will. Your yes to the Lord will. So I I want you to pray right now and just call on his name and confess whatever it is. Hallelujah. Begin to cry out unto God and just tell him that you need him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Rabba, sit Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you this morning, O oh God. Who but you, Father? We thank you for the word, God. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that this word would transform our lives. Lord God, let this word cut us, O oh God. Let this word heal us, O oh God. Let this word change us, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this word, God, do a work in us, God. Father, we ask that you would give us a heart after you, O God. Let us be like David, O God, and keep your word in our hearts, God, that, that we may not sin against you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come from near and far to, to gather in your name, O God, just to declare that we are nothing without you, O God. We are lost without you, oh God. There's no purpose without you, oh God. We pray even now for alignment, oh God. Realign us, oh God. We have steered the way, God. We have drifted off, oh God, into our own desires, oh God. But now, uh, by the spirit of the living God, we declare, God, uh, an alignment, oh God. Uh, we declare, God, uh, that our hearts, uh, my God, will beat for you, oh God. Uh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, uh, and you we live we move and have our being oh god we take place in your presence right now father and we release everything that is not like you every idol every idol every idol everything that lord god that has taken your place god we remove it now father hear our cry this morning spirit of the living god um, take back your rightful place spirit of the living god take back your rightful place and and reign and rule on the throne of our hearts god uh, we commit our ways towards you god Lord God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, uh, let a new covenant uh, be set before you, O oh God.
We reposition our hearts towards you, Father. We rededicate our lives towards you, Father. And we say yes and amen, God. Yes to your will, God. And, and yes to your ways, oh God. And, and we turn, Father, from everything, from everything that is not like you. Father, change our hearts. Change our desire. Everything that is not of you, take the taste out of our mouths, God. We can't give it up without you. We can't reject it without you, God. We can't say no to these things without you, Father. Father, you have opened up our eyes this morning, and we now see, God, that we are nothing without you. We are powerless without you. We can't resist uh, these urges, God, this world uh, without you. We need you, Father. We desperately need you, Father. We welcome your presence today. Spirit of the living God, hear our cry this morning. Spirit of the living God, hear our cry this morning. Receive our tears this morning, oh God. Lord God, see our brokenness this morning, oh God. Rabandia labasatalabakaya, Lord God. Receive us now, God. Receive us now, God. Receive our brokenness right now. We come broken, oh God. Our spirit is broken, oh God, before you. Mend us back together again uh, Spirit of the living God uh, Mend us back together again uh, Spirit of the living God uh, Make us right again Make us right again We confess God That our hands are unclean We confess God Our hearts are impure God Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul into vanity. Father, forgive us for lasciviousness. Forgive us, God, for sexual immorality. Forgive us for rebellion. Forgive us, oh God, for our hearts being hard towards you. Forgive us for rejecting you. We ask for forgiveness. Lord, receive us. Receive us. Ah, yeah. Robo Sarabati Alabasaya, receive us. Yamande. Robo Manabandi Alabasaya, receive us, oh God. From a broken place, God, we reach out to you, oh God. From a broken place, God, we pursue you now. Come on and cry out. Come on and cry. God is moving on you right now. Come on and cry out unto God. Harabande yaba 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 yekeya. Ramandi alabaso manamasi alabasaya. Yeah, God. From a broken place, hear our cry, God. Hear our cry. Hear our cry, oh God. Turn out your ear from us, God. Turn out your face from us, God. Hear our cry. Hear our cry. Hear our cry. Rabantaya. Robo mananda kande ke karande si alabasaya. Hear our cry. We cry unto you, Spirit of the living God. We cry in this hour. We need you. We need you. Fix us. Fix us, God. We're broken before you. We're hurting God. Fix us, oh God. Jesus. Fix us, oh God. Fix us. Fix us, oh God. Fix us. Fix us. Fix us. Fix us. Rababaye Madamandi Yalabaya Dabaso. Fix us, God. We can't go on like this. We can't continue like this, God. This can't be a pattern no more, God. Lord, break the cycle. Break the cycle, oh God. Break it. 
Break it, God. Break it. Come on, ask him to break it. Break the cycle. Break the pattern. Break the pattern, God. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. By your spirit. By your spirit, God. By your spirit. By your spirit. Spirit of the living God. Where we are not ashamed, God. We are not ashamed to say, Lord God, we need you. We are not ashamed. We expose our nakedness, God. Rabaya. Yeme mamanda kandelika rabaso. We expose our hearts, God. Yaba say. <laughs> we expose our nakedness, God. We are undone, Father. We are undone. We can't make it like this, God. We can't be holy like this, God. We can't serve you like this, oh God. We come broken. I, <laughs> we come broken, God. We come broken before you. Spirit of the living God, receive us, work in us. It is you that worketh in us both to will and to do of your good pleasures, working us from the inside out to spirit of the living God. Yabase. Oh God, receive us. Receive us. We come broken. We need fixing, oh God. We need healing, oh God. Yabase. <laughs> Ah, we come broken tonight we come broken this morning God Lord make us over let that be your prayer is that you this morning is that you this morning is that your prayer this morning? Hallelujah. Is that your prayer this morning? Is that you this morning? Is that you this morning? Is that you this morning? We amplify our voice, God. We we cry, we cry, Abba. We cry, Abba, this morning. Oh, God, we don't have the words to say, God. We cry, Abba, this morning. We cry, Abba. Yamande. Abba. We cry, Abba, this morning. We cry, Abba, this morning, God. We cry for you, oh, God. We cry, Abba, this morning, God. In the name of Jesus, we cry, we cry, Abba. We cry, Abba. We rededicate our lives to you, Father. We rededicate ourselves. We shall be a doer of your word. We shall be <clears throat> a doer of your word. We cry, Abba. We cry, Abba. Hallelujah. Hanaman de Lebeke. We cry, Abba, this morning. Oh, Manaman de Lebeke. Yaraba Soto. Come on and call on his name. The Lord is working. Right now, God is ministering to you. Don't resist God. Don't resist them. You have been so closed off. Your heart has been hardened. Open your heart and receive ye the Lord this morning. Receive the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. 
receive the lord this morning receive receive the lord this morning hallelujah oh receive god hallelujah thank you jesus Lord, we honor you. We honor you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? There is no one. There is no one like our God. I declare it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There is no one like our God. Hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Come on, type amen in the chat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lokobo City. Hayadabase. Come on and say amen in the chat. Come on, tell him thank you. Oh, he's worthy. Ye man take salabaso toko. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Kamande be karabasi. Oh, celebe ki alabasoya. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen, amen. God bless each and every one of you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> amen. God bless each and every one of you. Um, I pray that this word was a blessing to you. Amen. Let, let this not just be a word that sounds good. Yeah. Let, th let this not be a word that just sounds good, but let this word transform your life. We need God. We need God. Now is not the time to play around with God. We need God in every single way. Hallelujah. And God is speaking to us, his children. And he wants us to get right with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, if this word was a blessing to you and you're led, if you are led, I want you to sow. I want you to sow into the ministry. I want you to be a blessing to the ministry. I put my cash app up in the chat. That's dollar sign Jersey strong one, two, five. If you're led, if you're led. Please so and be a blessing to the ministry. Hallelujah. Once again, the title of this lesson of, of this sermon is turn back to God. Turn back to God. If you took nothing from this sermon, I want you to take that. Turn back to God. Turn back to your father. Because he's the only one that can help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just have uh, one announcement. Um, there will not be any prayer tomorrow. Um, the next time, the next time you will see us will be next Sunday, Sunday, 1030 a.m. Eastern time. Amen. Um, maybe during the week, I may come on to, to uh, do like a Bible study during the week. But if so, I will make an announcement on our uh, Facebook. All right. Listen, if you haven't already, amen, if you haven't already, please, um, I want you to um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have to start a YouTube channel for the, um, for the ministry, 
Amen. But um, for now, I want you to subscribe to me on YouTube. That's at Prophet Odolin. Prophet Odolin on YouTube. It was about a year ago or so the Lord told me to start a YouTube channel. And when the Lord told me that, I'm like, Lord, this is completely out of my comfort zone. Like You got me in a place where I am uncomfortable. And the Lord told me to start a YouTube channel. And I wanted to obey God. So I decided to um, just do what God has told me to do. Amen. And started a YouTube channel. So please, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's at um, Prophet Odolin. Prophet Odolin. All right. And be a blessing. Please subscribe. Uh, please subscribe and tell someone about the YouTube channel. We do prayers on there. We do prayers. Uh, Bible studies, uh, sermons, and also deliverance as well. Amen. So if you're led, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right. Well, God bless you. I love you guys. We love you guys. Anything you want to say? Uh, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. We love you, and we will see you guys next week. All right. All right. <laughs> we, we will see you guys next week So God bless you and we will see you next time Listen Turn back to God Alright So this is us This is our family to yours Saying we love you And God bless each and every one of you And we will see you Next time <laughs> The whole family here y'all <laughs> Amen Amen Well God bless you guys See you next time Love you Peace.